Now, I showed you fairly quickly how to insert your needle when the probe is faced in this direction and you see your vessel like that there in its cross section. But we're going to discuss a little bit more of the finer details. So obviously you can keep the probe like this facing right up and you can insert in the middle of the probe like we discussed here and you can look on the screen when you see the needle tip. But what I want you to appreciate is that it takes some time before you start seeing that needle tip. So again, I'm, I'm inserting it, but it's not until I get right next to the vessel that I start to see the actual tip of the needle. So one thing you can do to account for this is that you can actually alter the way that you hold your probe here. So because we're entering on the right side of the probe here, we can actually oblique our probe like this. So it will take less time for us to see that needle tip once we begin inserting it. So what I want you to appreciate here is the difference. So we're going to still go in the center of the probe right here, but we can see that already I've barely entered and I can see my needle tip right there. So as we go deeper, one thing I have to do like this is we can see the, the tip of the needle because I've obliqued, but as my right hand drives the needle deeper, I have to steepen my angle with this probe to follow that tip. So again, we can see my needle tip right there, but as I begin inserting it, I have to follow it with my ultrasound probe by steepening its angle until I get into the vessel and I go inside and I track my tip. So I'll just show that one more time. We have found our target here. We've obliqued our ultrasound probe like this away from where we're inserting. We go still in the center, but we already see the tip there. As we get deeper, we shift our hand like so, and we just track the needle all the way down into the vessel and we find the tip just like that. So this takes a little bit more coordination because as your right hand is bringing the needle deeper, you have to be shifting the way you're holding the probe like this to follow the needle along. But I think that it can be very useful to appreciate that when you oblique your needle like this, or you oblique your probe like this, once you insert the needle, you can immediately start to see it.